Hey everybody, good morning. Okay, so I just wanted to make this quick video. Um, there's a couple of things. So, in the case of Trinity, the dog's not picking up her scent outside of the fence of her aunt's house. Doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand where they got their dogs, if they trained their dogs. Um, I don't understand what is happening with that. But it doesn't make any sense that the scent stopped there. Unless, right outside of the fence, she got into a vehicle. That's the only thing that would make any sense and why the dogs couldn't trace it. Um, the next thing is, I was trying to compare like these dogs to the dogs that couldn't find Kylie's scent. Now, I have said before, I don't think, I think the dogs couldn't find Kylie's scent at Prosser because I don't believe she was there. But in this case, with the dogs not picking up her scent <clears throat> at all outside of the fence of the house or the gate or whatever, um, that either the dogs are not trained to do so or she got into a vehicle. Now, I don't know because we haven't heard anything about her getting into a vehicle. Um, also, with a lot of people in the Trinity case were like, well, they had to use chainsaws to like get to her. So how did she get in there? Um, and Chad said it would make sense that if she was having a bad trip, that she crawled in there by herself because she thought it was, it was safe and she wanted to hide in there. Um, and whatever, you know, that, that could be a possibility. So that, that could explain how she got in there. We just don't know. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention, the real pandemic here is drug use among the youths. Now, weed isn't just, it isn't, weed isn't good enough anymore. Kids don't want just weed. They want sh weed laced with other things. They want to trip out on acid. They want to do DMT. They want to have this out-of-body experience. Um, the problem is, is that kids see things. They can look it up. You can look it up, how to make these things. And then kids try to make it on their own to save themselves money. And who even knows, right? But that's the problem. And I think another big problem here is lack of parenting. I think a lot of people, especially these people involved, these seem to be, it seems to be this top, this area, Nevada County, Placer County, it seems that these kids do whatever they want, whenever they want, with no parents saying anything about it. Um, I think the problem is that a lot of parents want to be their kid's friend instead of being their kid's parent. And I think that that's a big, a big thing here. Kid, pe parents give their 16 year old children too much freedom. They want to treat them like an adult. They want to be their friends. They want to hang out with them. They want to do all this. Listen, that's, that's fine if that's the thing you choose, but it's not good for your child. It's not good to be, that's, there's a reason you're the parent, right? There's a reason you're not the friend. They have friends. They don't need you to be their friend. They need you to be their parent. They need you to care. They need you to pay attention. They need you to know what they are doing and what they are up to. Kids who are left to do whatever they want and treated as if they are older than they are is the problem, right? Idle hands causes, them, causes a lot of problems. Um, so I did want to say that. Um, also... I am going to get back into Kylie's case. I never quit doing that, but I did want to talk about Trinity and what was happening with her. Um, and CCTV had talked to the boyfriend. Not that I believe a word he says. I take it with a grain of salt. But it's odd that his last two girlfriends both ended up dead. I'm just saying. That's... What are the odds, right? What are the odds? <clears throat> That's what I say. So anyways, <clears throat> I think that is the big problem here, you guys. I think that it's lack of 
parenting. I think it's parenting parents that want to be friends with their teenagers. I think it's parents give their teenagers too much trust. And this is what it leads to. This is the shit that it leads to. Where's the blue one of this? I don't know. Um, but you are your, you are your child's barrier between the, between your home and the world. And I think taking that seriously is a very important, a very important thing. Because when we all looked into Kylie's case and we saw these kids partying, doing whatever they wanted, no parents seemed to care. Um, kids just seemed to be allowed to do whatever they wanted to do. And not for nothing, I'm not saying again anything against, because I know Lindsay and Andrea, or Andrea, however you say it, I'm sorry, um, are two totally different sides of the coin, right? But... It seems to be a theme, right? That these kids were allowed to do whatever they wanted because they were treated they were treated older than they actually are. So I think that's a big problem. And I also think that I said like these kids weed isn't good enough anymore. So they gotta try everything else. And how easy is it to look something up? And try to make it on your own. I'm just saying that shit happens every day. So whether whatever she was on LSD, DMT, whatever it was, <clears throat> I feel like how do I want to say this and not come off? I feel like both of these cases could have been prevented, if you know what I'm saying. So. That's just how I feel, and that's just, I wanted to put out this quick video and give you guys my thoughts, um, but I will be jumping back into Kylie's case, hopefully getting somewhere with that, um, but I appreciate all you guys' support in trying to do what we do, and I want to thank everybody for showing up to the members live last night, and I just want to thank all of our supporters, our subscribers, everybody, you guys are awesome, we appreciate you. And, you know, we're, we'll just keep trying to get justice for these kids. That's, that's all we can do. But it's, that's the pandemic. That's really what I believe is lack of parenting. Parents wanting to be friends with their kids instead of being parents. And kids just having all this freedom and being allowed to do whatever they want to do. It causes, it leads to shit like this. So please, be careful. Parent your children. Don't let them grow up too fast. Like, you know, that's that's our job. All right, you guys, so I just want to get this out there. I love you guys. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions, and we might just figure out some of these things. Oh, and please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And those of you that want to, go ahead and hit that join button, and you can become a member of the family. We would love to have you. Um... And that would be highly appreciated. Also, anybody wants to donate, links are all down in the description below. We love you guys, and I'll see you later.